care with C. Marie Phillips. I am glad to be back on with you guys in the midst of our COVID-19 pandemic lockdown. And as always, we're coming back to you on our second Wednesday of the month to be able to encourage you on your journey to healing. So tonight, our topic will definitely be on silence and the noise. Silence and the noise is a practical strategy that I learned to implement into my own life as I was experiencing emotional healing, mental healing, as well as spiritual growth and development um, in my own process towards living a purpose, joyful, feel abundant life that God has called me to. And so tonight, I just want to encourage you guys with a few of the strategies on how to implement silence and noise in your life on your journey to heal. And as we think about silence and the noise, I want you guys to be mindful of the scripture that tells us to guard our heart um, for from it flows the issues of life. And so when we think about our healing journey and the community we keep and the things that we do, we want to be mindful of the thoughts that we harbor, the thoughts uh, or the things that we're allowing to enter into our minds and our bodies um, and to be able to really be cognizant of what we do with those things as we deem to walk in healing and walk in God's purpose for our life, all right? So I'm going to give you guys the definition, and I'll be providing the slides um, in between this presentation for you when you play it back so that you'll have the opportunity to be able to reflect on what it is to silence the noise. And if you didn't have the opportunity to silence the noise, um, during the first couple of weeks of our quarantine, this is definitely a time to really assess and say, hey, have I really been silencing the noise to be able to manage my mental and emotional health and also use this time to grow spiritually as an individual um, in pursuit of purpose? So I'm going to begin with a quick prayer and I'll give you the definition and some strategy to kind of support you on your journey to silence and the noise, guarding your heart, and living the best abundant purpose-filled life that God has for you, all right? All right, so Father, we thank you for this moment and this opportunity to come to you, being able to silence ourselves and silence all the noise of everything that may be distracting us from your presence. We know that in your presence, we can find peace, we can find healing, we can find refuge, God. So I thank you for this moment and this opportunity. I thank you for each and every person that will have the opportunity to press play and to take in every word that you have put on the inside of me to encourage them, Father, to seek you, to seek truth, and to walk in healing, God. So I bless them now, Father. And I ask that peace will be their portion and that they will walk in healing, Father God. And every worry and every concern that they have, they will cast their cares upon you and you will give them rest. And we believe this is so. And we seal this prayer with the praise and we say hallelujah and we thank you. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. So when we talk about silencing the noise, silence the noise is an action. It's a verb. And so it is an action to um, taken by you to drown out all negative thoughts, feelings, desires, your own will, and choices to hear God clearly for what he is saying about you, for you, and for your life. With these strategies, there are some things that you have to make sure that you are following suit to, to make sure that you yourself are living this out in your daily life to be able to experience God's best for you. And that, of course, is number one. You want to allow God to sift unfruitful associations with man that isn't edifying to you. Or you definitely aren't in a position to edify anyone else. And if you can't do that, don't partake in it. So that is one of the strategies of silence and the noise to remove distractions out of your life. Um that will impede your progress to experience healing. Unfruitful relationships, unfruitful community is definitely um, 
dangerous, especially when you're pursuing purpose, especially when you're trying to heal. Because if you have some wounds that need to be healed and you have people that are constantly throwing salt on them, there's really no opportune space for you to heal. So you want to be able to be in an environment around people um, that support you genuinely, authentically, and lovingly, uh, non-judgmentally. And in a few videos before this, we talked about some of the qualities of a fruitful community and what that looks like when we're healing. So I would recommend that you go back a few episodes and watch that. Um, we also want to be mindful with strategy number two. Um when you're trying to silence the noise and that looks like protecting your ears from negative influence advice and counsel um, we know that all advice isn't good advice so we must some be really mindful and discerning to be able to take that information with a grain of salt so as i say discernment is required so be mindful of what you're allowing into your spirit and being able to know what is good for you and what is not and you begin to take out the trash for those things that mean you no good we're moving on to strategy three and strategy three is definitely a prompting for you to pray and ask the lord to examine your heart um so that you are operating out of pure motives you don't want to be someone who is doing things deceitfully or for selfish gain so it is important that you definitely pray and ask the Lord to examine your heart so that whatever you do, whatever things you are pursuing, you're doing it from the goodness of your own heart. All right. And strategy number four, we definitely want to meditate on the infallible word of God. The word of God is good and it definitely helps to order our steps and our process. It helps us to definitely be in a position to be in God's perfect will for our life, for his will to be done in our life, and so that God gets the glory. And in all of these strategies, you begin to truly draw closer to God and also begin to gain clarity on the areas in your own life which need to be healed um, and which you can work on emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. And if I was to leave you with some places to study or uh, scriptures for reflection, I will leave you with these and it is Proverbs 4 23 Psalms 51 and 10 Psalms 119 133 to 136 so guys I pray your strength in the Lord and I continue to pray for your journey of transformation growth and healing and as always I pray that you are blessed and on your journey if you need any support, if you're ready to start your life coaching relationship with me, you can feel free to visit my website at simplycandicemarie.co. Schedule that first virtual session with me and we can discuss what it is that you need discussed so that we can get you on a path towards um, pursuing purpose, healing emotionally, growing mentally and transforming spiritually. So I love you guys. God bless and have a happy Wednesday and definitely silence the noise during this COVID-19 for your healing, for your development, and for your growth. God bless.